talk about the fact that Asian Doll basically just robbed this businesswoman in broad daylight. So there's this businesswoman named Kayla Abdul. She's an amazing fashion designer and she makes really beautiful custom pieces like that. Well, today she posted that Asian Doll reached out to her and said, can you make my birthday dress? And naturally she's really excited. I would be too. Well, Asian tells her that she wants this beautiful dress that Kayla designed and posted on her page before. She sent her the dress and said that she wanted a silver version. So it looks like everything was going really well. She was sending her updates, asking her what she preferred. And what did Asian say? She said, I love it so much. So they agree on a price. She's telling her she's going to book her a flight and everything. Like everything is going perfect, it looks like. And after this woman invests so much of her time for supplies, countless hours for her to make this dress, just to ghost her the day before. If wasting her time and money wasn't disrespectful enough, she stole her design, had another designer recreate her look, and got on Instagram and posted her birthday pictures like it never happened. As a business owner myself, this is just incredibly disappointing to see. I wanted to make this video not only to bring awareness to this incredible businesswoman, go and follow her, but also the importance of having a contract. This could have never happened if there was a contract, even just a simple one, just stating what they agreed on and protecting her brand. There are so many websites that allow you to make contracts for free. It's incredibly sad that we live in a world where even people with high status and a lot of money can take advantage of a business owner, but happy birthday, Asian doll. So attorney Candace here, and let's talk about what designer Kayla could do to like get justice in this situation. So as an attorney, yes, we do like our clients to have written contracts when they do business deals. However, that is not the only way in which you can sue someone for breach of contract. So there's something called quantum merit that allows you to sue for even verbal agreements with people. Okay. Um, and the only thing with verbal agreements that us attorneys don't like is it makes it more difficult to prove that the agreement exists because, of course, when you get in court, people change their stories. He said, she said, we said, I said it didn't happen. But in this case, Kayla actually has evidence, strong evidence. She has the messages from social media supporting her claim that they had an actual contract. So if I was Kayla, I would go ahead and file a lawsuit for breach of contract. And under the law, not only would Kayla be entitled to um, the cost for her service, services and the materials and everything like that, but she'd also be entitled to her attorney's fees, which um, Asian Doll would have to pay. On top of all of those things, Kayla could also file a criminal complaint for theft of services, okay, which is a felony in most states. So if I was Kayla the designer, I would go ahead and take legal action because um, it's one thing to waste someone's time, but to play with someone's money is a whole nother ball game. So get your attorney and get your coins.